This tutorial is to help you understand Meditech's EMR, or Enterprise Medical Record. Log into Meditech with your assigned username and password. Your username for Meditech will always start with SP for Sisters of Providence. After logging in, you will be taken to your main menu. Click on EMR to access the Enterprise Medical Record. Once you are in the EMR, you will see Recently Accessed Records, which is a list of patients' charts that you have recently accessed. To search for a patient, click Any Record, type in the patient's name or medical record number or account number. You will be presented with a list of possible patients. In this case, I only have one Charlie Brown to choose from, so I will click on his name to open his chart. Once I open his chart, I can see all of his previous visits or accounts. Notice the icons on the left. They indicate the type of visit. The green dot will indicate the current or active visit. To access the current visit, click anywhere in that row. Once you are in a current visit, your screen will default to the 24-hour view. Here is where you can view a snapshot of the last 24 hours of patient data, including vital signs, INOs, laboratory, and other reports. I would like to call your attention to the colors on the screen. If a value is highlighted in yellow, it is abnormal. If a value is highlighted in pink, it is critical. Anytime you float your mouse over something and your arrow turns to a hand, you can click to find more information. Click the back button to return to your previous screen. Now I would like to review the information at the top of the screen. This is called the patient banner. Here you will find your patient's name, date of birth, height and weight, allergy information, AA number or account number, MM number or medical record number, your patient location, admission status, and sometimes you will also see their code status. Let's review the buttons in your right region menu. The first is record list. This includes a list of recent charts you have accessed. Other visits is where you can look up information from a previous visit. Special panels is where you can view both assessment data as well as lab data and medication administration all in one screen. We'll talk about building your own special panel in a different class. Vital signs and INO display information documented by nursing and clinical staff. The notes section of the chart is where you can find notes written by all disciplines. Filter your notes by using the tabs at the top of the screen. Sort your notes by clicking on the column header. At the bottom of the screen, if you click on assessments and notes, you will be able to see both notes and clinical assessments charted in chronological order. To view either the assessment or the note, click on the blue eye. Click return to return to your previous screen. The medications tab will show you a list of ordered and administered medications. You can sort your list by clicking on the column header. Medications that have been highlighted in yellow have been discontinued. DC meds will show up on your active tab for 24 hours. After that, you have to go to the All tab to see a complete list of active and DC medications.
Notice some medications may say stock med or confirm administered dose. These medications were pulled from the PIXIS machine without an electronic order. This happens in the OR or other procedural areas. This can also happen during emergent situations where a nurse may need to pull a medication on override from the PIXIS machine. Medications that were documented as non-administered will have red text displaying in the last administered cell. Click on the cell to obtain more information. Click on the text bubble to see the non-admin reasons. This medication was not administered due to lab results. Click the back button to return to your previous screen. Clicking on the name of the drug will give you the details of the medication order. Click the back button to return to your previous screen. The Order History tab will show you a complete list of orders entered for your patient. Again, you can sort the orders by clicking on the column header. Pay close attention to the status of your order when reviewing your orders. Some patients may have more than one page of orders. To see more details of the order, click on any of the cells to the left of the category. Click the back button to return to your previous screen. If a cell is blank, it means the orders were placed into the system at the same time. For example, all of these orders were placed by Dr. Oppenheimer during the same order entry session and for the same service date and time. The order date and time is when the order was placed or filed. The service date and time is when the order should be carried out. The laboratory tab displays labs that have been resulted. Values highlighted in yellow are abnormal and values highlighted in pink are critical. Click on the name of the test for more information. Click on the blue eye for even more information. The graph button at the bottom of the screen allows you to see data trends. You can filter your lab results by using the tabs at the top of the screen. You can also view the lifetime summary for your patient's labs by clicking on the lifetime summary tab. The microbiology tab will show you micro results. Click on the report icon to view more information. You can also use the Lifetime Summary tab to view microbiology history for your patient. The Blood Bank tab is where you find information about blood products ordered, blood bank tests like type and screen, as well as transfusion history. The number of blood products ordered may be different than the number transfused. It is important to note that the transfused number changes as soon as the product is released from the blood bank, even if the product has not yet completed infusing. The Imaging tab is where you can find diagnostic imaging for this visit, as well as lifetime summary of imaging. You can view the dictated radiology report by clicking on the radiology bubble to view the report. You can view the actual images from your desk by clicking on the little camera icon. Other reports includes reports from various departments and care providers, including the emergency department, the OR, rehab services, consults, HMPs, and progress notes. You can narrow your search by clicking on the filters at the top of the screen. To view the report, click on the report bubble in the report cell. Care Trends and Care Activity is where you can find nursing documentation that was entered using interventions and assessments. In Care Trends, 
The data is sorted by body system. You can click on the categories at the top of the screen and click on the earlier and later buttons at the bottom of the screen to scroll through time. For more information, click on the timestamp at the top of the column or the assessment label. The Care Activity tab also displays data entered through various assessments and interventions. It defaults to the Assessments Spreadsheet view. Some of the assessments are collapsed for easy scrolling. To display this information, right-click on the assessment label and click Display. You can display the documentation chronologically by clicking the Date tab at the top of the screen. To search by name, click Name at the top of the screen for an alphabetical list of all assessments or interventions documented during this visit. To search for documentation done by a particular user, Click Recorded By to see a list of all users that have charted an assessment or intervention during this visit. You can also find Nursing Care Plan and Outcome Information via the Care Activity tab. The History tab is where you can find past medical surgical history recorded by nursing staff as well as family history. Sort by using the category filters at the top of the screen. Click on the date recorded to view the assessment in which the data was recorded. In the Summary tab, you can view a quick snapshot of a variety of information, including a list of active and home medications, preferred pharmacy, and immunizations. You can also find demographic, insurance, risk legal information by using the tabs at the top of the screen. The last set of buttons at the bottom of the right region menu are action buttons and are not view only. These are typically used by providers. By clicking on them, you will launch different routines and desktops. We will cover these in a separate tutorial. I would like to call your attention to the buttons at the bottom of the screen. The Globe button is the external links. We've provided you with a quick way to launch internet-based resources as well as organizational policies. Take a minute and explore some of these links. The small printer icon can be used to print a snapshot of your screen, as well as some of the most common reports. Other buttons are the Help icon and the Session Lock icon. To exit the EMR, click Return or the red X at the top of the screen. This concludes the EMR tutorial video.